Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see, we're going to be learning how to put on a false lashes. As you can see, there is no mascara and no lashes on this look yet for you guys today. We're going to be learning how to put on false lashes today the proper way with the proper tools with you guys today. So you can see how to put those on so we can take this from regular makeup to fab. Make sure you see. Okay, as you guys can see, we have nothing on our face, well, on our lashes to begin with. First, what I like to do when it comes to putting on our false lashes is I like to put on um, my mascara first, um, and I don't necessarily curl my lashes. At this point, you'd wanna curl first, then mascara. I don't curl mine, I don't necessarily have to usually when I'm putting on my false lashes, but if you are one that likes to curl, I suggest curling first, and then mascara. I'm gonna go in with my Deuce Pump, Deuce Punk Volumizing Mascara. I'm gonna put a generous coat of this on both my top and bottom lashes. So what we're gonna do is before we do any lash applications, we're gonna let this dry. Mascara has to dry or else once you go to put on your lashes, that glue is gonna be tacky and your mascara is gonna be wet. So what are we gonna have? A mess. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We're not gonna do any of that. So we're gonna let this dry, thoroughly dry all the way. Also, when you have boo-boos like this, like this, we also let those dry completely. Go in later with a Q-tip or I like to go in with a spoolie like this and you just kind of scratch it in there and it pops right off anyways let's go over the tools that we're going to need to put our lashes on today we're going to be going in with Kala's lashes called bossy these are some really um three they're three-dimensional lashes they're fluffy they're full um and i really like them um they really take your makeup um from really basic to open up your eye, the ends are tapered so they look real flawless and flirty, but they're not too big and over the top, which is what I like. These are great for, for me, I could wear these every day, you could wear these to work, you could wear these for a night out. They're, they're good, they're soft, they're not too bold. They're not really full and voluptuous, I guess you could say. It's a really strong word, but they're not that. They're not these crazy lashes you're seeing all over the place. These lashes for me, I feel like I could wear them on every occasion for anything that I'm doing. So if you're going from work and you're like, oh, girls want drinks, night out, these lashes will do that for you. Let's see if we can pull one of them off to show you. But they're really, they're, they got some fluff to them. They're three dimensional. The bands are thin, they're flexible. Um, they're really, really easy to put on, to be honest with you. For any worn a pair in a look that I've done previously this week. Um, and they're really great, really easy to use. So keep that in mind when you're looking for lashes, you want the bands to be thin. Um, that way they're flexible. Um, and they're gonna go in easy for you guys. The thicker the band, the harder it's gonna be for you to move them around and get them onto your eye um, and that kind of stuff. These, as you can see, the band right here, it's not super thick. I've seen bands that are much thicker than this. Um, and when I go to put them on, because I pinch them right onto my lash line, they almost look like I have a shelf over my eye and make my eyes look darker. And I have very small eyes to begin with, so then they make my eyes look smaller. So that's the thing too. Gotta be careful with what we're getting. So the thinner the band, the better. Especially when you're starting out, brands that also have great um, lash lashes, um, kissing 
uh, Ardell are two other brands that I absolutely love. If you're also looking for something else that's affordable, um, Shop My Say also has them as well. But like I said, Kala's, these lashes are amazing as well. I've been using these in the last week and they've been great. Um, for the looks, like I said, they can be for everyday, um, work, night out with the girls. Like I said, transitioning from work to going out to have drinks. It's gonna work for you. You just might want to darken up your shadow a little bit to make the more evening makeup, change it maybe a lip color from a nude to a red. We can do that. These lashes are gonna do that for you too. Also, tools that we'll need. Something that I like to use scissors to trim your lashes. Um, some people can use like little clippers. I go in with like these little cuticle scissors. I keep these on hand. These are really easy and they have a little curve to them too. So I go in with these. I keep these on hand in any of my, I have a, like a toolkit for my makeup stuff for myself, for my clients. It's just where you gotta trim them to make the lashes fit your eyes, but you always gotta trim the edges regardless. So scissors are always good to have on hand. Our eyelash applicator. This is a super cute one from Kala. Right here, they got a good grip on them. This right here is where you're gonna put them on then you can go through on your lash line and pinch it so that you're really helping them staple into around your lashes right there for you. This is another great tool and it's great it has grips so your fingers aren't going to slide and all that. And then another thing you got to get is lash glue. I tend to use Duo. Um, this is a um, this is a brush on adhesive. This has vitamins in it. You can get ones that are latex free. They have black for those who like it. They have so many, so many different versions for those depending on what you want to do. For your, for your lashes and stuff, but I get the vitamins that way it's helping my lashes, it's not gonna damage anything of that sort. All right, lots of babbling for everything that you need to know. But anyways, when you're starting out, key points to remember are um, curl your lashes, then mascara, let it dry. Start there. Then, what the tools you will need are scissors, a lash tool, <laughs> lashes, and lash glue. Jot those notes down. Tool, those are tools you'll need and the first couple steps you're gonna have to do. Now, we're gonna get into the fun part. Applying those bad boys. So here are our Kala Lashes in Bossy. What I'm doing here is just laying them lightly on top of my lash line to see where we need to trim them. We're sizing them up, laying them down to see where we need to trim them. Here we go. Trim the ends. You need to trim both ends just because they're always a little pointy on each end to so trim the extra off, but trim the inner corner as well just so they don't kind of poke you. Then we're going to put enough lash glue on but you don't need a ton because you don't want it dripping or making a mess but you put enough lash glue on there you go as you can see oh there you go see a little bit better then you gotta let them dry until they're tacky generally until it starts to look about like they're a little clear and then we're going to go on go ahead and put them right on our lash line i like to center them a little bit there we go and then we'll use our handy dandy lash tool to place them a little bit better and then we'll also use the lash tool to kind of secure them in along the lash line a little bit better. I usually like to use my fingers a little bit too because sometimes it can get in there a little bit better. But here we are just using that lash tool. Definitely when you're putting them on other people use the lash tool. Don't use your fingers unless the lash tool is scaring people. Lash tool can definitely scare people. <laughs> here I am just pushing them up a little bit so they do that they flare up to open up my eye i have very small eyes there we go beautiful Oof! what a difference so we got our lashes on using the kala bossy lashes the kala lash tool duo glue some scissors and some mascara i hope you guys found this tutorial helpful you were able to figure out the tools you'll need if you're watching this you're able to see 
things you went, oh, I haven't done that before. That's going to be helpful and useful for me. If you have any questions, make sure you put some comments down below for me so I can answer them for you to see if I've got the answers for you or if I can find the answers for you. Also, if you like videos like this, make sure you put some suggestions down below of what else you want to see. I have other videos I want to do for you guys just like this one. But if you have other suggestions that I don't have, I would love to hear them so we can keep going with these and do some more. Anyways, thanks so much for hanging out with me. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you get notifications. And I'll see you in my next throw. Bye.